Next up, we have a representative from top of the line point to point microwave equipment manufacturer, Soft Technica. They're really popular, especially, well, not just in the local markets, though they do have their roots in Riga, Latvia, so they're kind of our neighbors, but they're popular all over the world. Really great equipment manufacturer. And it's really interesting to see how, well, not niche, but such specific products will implement integrations with Zabbix and using Zabbix um, for their advantage. So let's welcome Technical Service Director, South North America from USA, Tatiana Dunce. Welcome. Hi, uh, my name is Tatiana. I have been working for South Technica for uh, approximately 10 years. And right now I am uh, located in the uh, United States, in Denver, Colorado, where I'm responsible for technical support, RMAs, uh, and also developing new services for South Technica. So I'm very happy and excited to be the part of Zabbix uh, 2020 and talk about South product, products and uh, integration into Zabbix. Uh, so first things first, uh, I would like you to understand where South Technica is coming from. So we come from a really small country called Latvia. Actually, it's the same place where Zabbix is originating from. And a few facts about Latvia. It was established in 1918. The population of Latvia is really small. It's 2 mil uh, million people. And Latvia is also a member of NATO, EU, and uh, OECD. The currency in Latvia is euros, and the official language is Latvian. Uh, so now let's move on to a few facts about South Technica itself. So South Technica has been around for over 20 years, and it has been really profitable company so far. And uh, we have the presence in over 130 countries. And uh, South Technica is also publicly traded on NASDAQ, Riga Stock Exchange. And we're also at ISO. Uh, 9001 certified. So for those of you who don't know what that means, it's basically a quality management system that looks over the quality of our products and also makes sure that our products and services fall within the regulations of uh, United States and also European countries. And just recently, we have uh, become a Zabbix certified partner in August of 2020. Uh, <clears throat> So these are the three main SAF uh, product groups. Uh, we are primarily the manufacturer of point-to-point -point systems. And in addition uh, to that, we manufacture handheld spectrum analyzers. And the third product line that we have is RNet wireless uh, sensors and solutions in regards with that. So my colleague, Tom Zerekshne, has already uh, talked about it. Uh, previously at Zabbix Summit, so feel free to rewatch his video if you're interested in this product line. My story today is primarily going to be focusing on uh, soft point-to-point -point microwave systems. So let's jump uh, right into it. Uh, so I'm assuming that some of you in this audience might not actually know what the point-to-point -point microwave system is. So I would like you to think of, of it as an alternative to a fiber line. So instead of a fiber line, we have two radio systems with the antenna installed on two different towers. And the distance between those towers could be anywhere from a few miles up to 50 or even 100 miles. And the data being transmitted from this one point to the other point is over the air. So it's a wireless transmission. So that's what point-to-point -point microwave system basically is. And uh, a few things uh, that distinguish SAF from our competitors is, first of all, the five-year standard war warranty for all our products. And that is because our products are top quality. So we use uh, uh, really good quality materials to manufacture our product, a really high quality chipsets. And each of our product is actually going, um, before release to customer, it's going through thermal chamber testing. In addition to that, uh, the technical support that we have, first of all, it's free of charge. And secondly, it's really good quality. So our customers are always happy with the technical support. And also, a lot of our customers are saying that uh, deployment of our products is quite easy and simple. 
So that's another value of our products. So our different product lines and solutions we have or have been used and can be used wi widely in this, which is wireless internet service providers in TV broadcasting sector. Uh, so that's actually our primary market in United States. And besides that, we also sell our products to high frequency traders to provide low latency for their network. And in addition to that, uh, we have solutions for public safety, utilities, uh, military, and uh, much more than that. So uh, here is a quick overview of uh, the products that SAF manufactures. So we have uh, two primary uh, series product lines. Uh, so one of those is Integra series radios. So Integra series is a full outdoor radio, uh, which can be attached directly to the antenna. So pretty much there is nothing indoors besides the power supply. And uh, well, one of the products, Integra E, operates in E-band range, and that one can achieve the throughput over the air up to 10 gigabits per second. And it utilizes uh, 4096 QM modulation and channels as wide as 2 gigahertz in bandwidth. Uh, then we also have a dual core Integra X product, which has uh, basically two radios in a single enclosure. And that one is capable of fixed pick and 2 plus 0. So that basically doubles the capacity of a single radio. And the Phoenix G2 product line can either be split mount, so the part of uh, the product can be placed indoors and the part of it can be placed outdoors, or it can be full indoors. So our broadcast market mostly is using uh, full indoor uh, products because they prefer to have all the equipment to be indoors and then have just a long elliptical line going up to their antenna. And the third product on this slide we have here is Marathon. And that's our long distance product. So because of the low frequency ranges we use here, it's possible to achieve distances actually over 100 uh, miles. And uh, last but not least, SAF also offers a different set of services. So things like product trainings, uh, link planning, and technical support, uh, we have been offering to our customers for many years, probably 20 years. And then the service called Staging and Configuration, that one we started um, offering to our customers just a few years ago. And uh, what this service provides to our customers is um, the ability to have all the equipment labeled and uh, configured before it gets to the customer. Uh, another service that we have added to our portfolio also recently is FCC coordination. So that one we can provide only to the customers in the United States. And uh, this service helps our customers uh, with not just uh, selecting the product and purchasing the product, but also going through the process of licensing the microwave link with the FCC. And uh, the other service that we have just recently added to our portfolio is uh, Zabbix deployment and uh, support. So we'll talk about that more in the following slides. And the link I have here on this slide uh, will take you to South Technica webpage where you can in great detail read everything about each of those services and how they work. Um, so, South partnership with Zabbix. So why have we decided to partner with Zabbix and what are the benefits of that for us? Uh, so before we started working with Zabbix, South Technica actually had its own network management system that we have developed ourselves. And we've been using it for many years sufficiently. Uh, but unfortunately, that software was limited only to South products. So it was possible to add different vendor products, but it was really a difficult and complicated process. And more and more of our customers were requesting to add to network management systems some other vendor products, not just SAP. So, and this is where uh, Zabbix comes in handy. So besides uh, monitoring SAP products, our customers can monitor any other vendor products. So the only thing they need to do is just add the template and we can definitely assist our customers in doing so. In addition to that, we are also appreciating Zabbix's customizability and scalability. 
So uh, virtually there is almost no limits in the amount of devices you can monitor uh, with this ABEX. And also, of course, we appreciate the fact that it's an open source uh, platform and it's a very, really modern and robust platform. So I believe our customers will enjoy the customizability, the scalability, and the uh, ability to actually add not just SAF products, but uh, also any other vendor products. And I think I already mentioned that, that uh, SAP and Zabbix uh, are located in the same small town called Riga, Latvia. So we literally just had to walk across the street, shake each other's hands and start uh, this partnership deal. So it made to total sense for both SAP Technica and Zabbix. Um, so the templates. Uh, a few of our engineers uh, back in August uh, went to the training in uh, Zabbix and they have uh, received uh, certified specialist certificates. And uh, right after this training, our engineers who are also experienced with SNMP protocol in general will, were pretty easily and quickly able to develop themselves uh, multiple templates for multiple products of South Technica. So at this moment, we have developed and published uh, our main product line uh, templates for Integra series radios and also for Phoenix G2. So these uh, templates are available free to all of our customers. And they can be downloaded from South Technica downloads page. Uh, so if you are, I would say, proficient with uh, Linux and you're familiar with Zabbix, then you can definitely perform the installation and deployment of these templates uh, yourself. If not, I would say we would definitely, uh, as our service, add additional value in um integrating these templates into your Zabbix and tuning different parameters. We are, uh, you know, the experts of our own products and we know which parameters you as a customer is supposed to, to monitor. And this is what uh, the next couple of slides are about. I'm just going to give you a couple of examples of the work that we have done so far with integration into Zabbix. So this uh, first example is um, in regards with Integra X link. So in this example, we have just a single one plus O Integra X link. And as you remember, Integra X is a dual core radio. So we're actually providing the monitoring parameters here for two radios in, in single enclosure. Uh, so on the top, uh, we can see uh, the main parameters of the link and actually the main health parameters of the link. We can see what is the received signal level at the moment, what is MSC or so-called noise level, uh, the transmit power, the IP address is basically a small summary of the link. On the right side, we see the uh, parameters of uh, the radio also positioned on the left here. Uh, and it shows the graphs within the last couple minutes. So those are basically live graphs of your received signal level and your MSC, the noise level of the RF link. On the right side, we have the same parameters, but for the remote side. And in the middle part here, we have added a few parameters that uh, we believe uh, is valuable to monitor, like for example, CPU load and percentage, uh, the traffic that traverses through the link at the moment, and diagnostic parameters such as uh, temperature for each of the modems. On the bottom, uh, we have added the widget of uh, the alarms here. And right now we can see that there in the past have been some alarms in regards with low received signal level. And these uh, alarms are also colored uh, by their severity. So the red color indicates um, larger problems. So it's almost like a disaster issue. And the blue one is just an informative uh, alarm. So uh, we believe that our customers, just by looking at this dashboard, are going to be able to estimate uh, the status of the link at this moment and if there were any issues in the past. And uh, what we liked about Zabbix capabilities here is the customizability. So let's say 
our customer doesn't like the uh, alarms widget on the bottom and he would like to replace it with some historic uh, graphs. So that can be uh, done very simple. So this next example we have here uh, represents another system that most of our broadcast customers are using, which is called Phoenix G2 full indoor system. So this whole system we see here is actually placed indoors in the rack, and you will notice that there is um, the same piece of modular equipment, it's like in the quantity of two. So that is because this link is protected, we call it one plus one protected link. So uh, each um, IDU is being protected by the second IDU module, and each ASI module has the second ISI module, and each radio module also has the second uh, radio module that protects it. So what we liked about Zabbix capabilities integrating these full indoor systems is the ability to first of all name each of the, these uh, modules individually and uh, monitor in this uh, maps uh, screenshot each of uh, the modules um, performance individually. So for example, on the left side, we see uh, that ASI module is colored in red, indicating that there is an issue. So if you take a closer look, we can see that one of the ASI ports has lost the connection. Or the radio unit also has a red field, indicating that there is an issue specifically with that RFU. And if you take a closer look, we can see that it's just telling us that the received signal is low. It's lower than we are expecting it to be. Uh, so this is just the dashboard for the same Phoenix G2 system. So in addition to having all this like maps and uh, ability to look at each of the modules individually, we can see on the right side here the historic alarms. The red, uh, the red one is telling us that there is still an issue, that alarm has not been cleared. And the green alarms is saying that there has been an issue, like for example, received signal level went down just for a second, and then it restored back up. Uh, in the middle part here, we see a graph, which is actually a summary graph of all four uh, radios uh, performance, so two on the local side and two on the remote side. And again, here we're monitoring what in my in our opinion is uh, the most important parameters to monitor received signal level and MSC, which is also the noise level. So the graph on the bottom, uh, that one is really important for our broadcast customers because majority of them are besides Ethernet IP traffic transmission, they're also transmitting ASI traffic. So here they're able to monitor how much traffic in the past historically has been going uh, through this link. So we can see that it's roughly around 20 megabits in this particular chart. So now uh, when we have uh, had the experience of being a certified Zabbix uh, specialist and we have developed ourselves uh, these multiple templates, uh, we are ready to provide uh, Zabbix related uh, services to our end customers. So we would be able to perform uh, the deployment on, of Zabbix on customer provided uh, machine. We would be able to perform the integration and configure all these parameters and fine tune everything according to our customer requirements. In addition to that, uh, we can also consult our customers and we can provide uh, technical support on annual contract basis. So uh, to sum it up, uh, we are ready to provide uh, Zabbix related services to our customers. And if you already have SAF network and you would be willing to integrate that into Zabbix, or maybe you're just planning on uh, developing a new SAF network and are interested in having Zabbix, please let us know. Here is our contact details. Uh, the headquarters located in Riga, Latvia, as mentioned, and we also have the branch office in. North America in Colorado. And these two links I have here will just lead you to the contacts page of SAF Technica and to uh, the summary page of, um, of different services that we provide. Um, so that was it and uh, we are ready for your questions. Thank you. Thank you a lot. I'm really glad seeing, as you said, pretty much our neighbors across the road 
um, having interest in Zabbix and actually now being certified specialists, like certifying, passing the certification courses, and then passing the knowledge onwards, you know, with their own hardware, their own product to other customers. So it's really nice to see that. Thank you. Um, and a couple of questions. Um, so first off, yes, you told us that you provide Zabbix, you know, for your customers and you create templates to pass to them and so on. But do you guys use Zabbix in your own environment, like in your own offices to monitor your own infrastructure? We have not started doing that yet. Yeah, so we're a newcomers. We just went through the certification courses back in August. Uh, we haven't started doing anything like that, but it's a good idea. We might in future, who knows? Mm -hmm. um, all right, so you just passed the specialist courses. Any plans, maybe looking half a year in the future or a year in the future to becoming certified professionals? Maybe, uh, we'll see. Our guys uh, are definitely interested into Zabbix and they are saying that, you know, the courses were really valuable and it was interesting. We'll see how this first year goes and we'll see how much, you know, revenue will generate with Zabbix and how many of our customers are interested. Mm -hmm. so we'll see, it's a possibility as well. Mm -hmm. Um, but what about your templates? So you have already provided, you know, a couple of, of templates for, for us and for your community. Um, maybe you have some interesting templates down in the pipeline that you are working on or, or maybe in the long term you want to create or upgrade some existing templates. Um, let's talk about, yeah, template development from your side. Right. So, so far we have released the templates for the main product lines that we have, Integra and Phoenix G2. We have a few product lines that are like more specialized, like low latency uh, products and also some older um, product line like CFIP Lumina. So I would say that might be in our pipeline. And if some of our customers are interested in integrating those older products or low latency products, we might generate more templates based on the requests from our customers. Mm -hmm. And maybe you have any plans to I'm refining those templates and be having them become a part of Zabbix out of the box. What about that? Have you considered it? Mm -hmm. So what do you exactly mean? Like we would sell our product and provide installation instructions and templates? Oh no, just box? the templates. Like they would be available on fresh Zabbix installations out of the box, for example. Oh, yeah. that would be wonderful. I mean, if Zabbix is gonna allow us to do that, I understand that for that to happen, Zabbix has to approve our uh, templates. And when that mm -hmm. happens, yeah, we would be really happy if, if that would be included in Zabbix software. So it's just going to make it easier for our customers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think that it's uh, too far out there for it to happen. So um, okay. I, I think it's eventually going to happen. Like I know you guys, like I remember from the courses, you guys were really like, a strong couple of students um, and, and I do know the company and I do believe that, yeah, we are capable of making this work. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you a lot. It was a real pleasure hearing your presentation, your really interesting use cases. Um, and yeah, let's see you around. Let's, let's uh, follow your template development and, and see how that goes. Thank you.